boo 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 Fuck you! Hey, welcome back to our stupid video. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more cheese content. Click a switch, also to give a like button. <sighs> Today, we got a video. This is from Tired and Refused Productions. We've seen many other videos. He yes, has a great job. He yep. has 10 controversial Indian celebrity interviews oh. that caused outrage. I know one of them. What? The one we had with Anya Rod where he was rolling. Only thing I would have said is that he didn't share. Very disappointing. I, I know he was an Indian when we were here, but he could have at least mailed us something so we could go and yeah, roll in together. I, I don't. Uh, when we had breakfast with him, I wanted, to, I wanted to roll one with him and to post it on the internet. There are a few people that would be really cool to get baked with. Oh, yeah. He's one of them. I've heard many, um, even though it's illegal. Uh, Not here. Come to America. Yeah. Uh, actually, Indian celebrities who are big pot smokers. That wouldn't surprise me if there's because, a ton you know, of them. There's nothing wrong with it. Hey, newsflash. <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> but so this is uh, it's stuff. Here we go. Great. <laughs> Great. This is stuff. Don't they have schools with their critics? I wonder if sure Ali Abbott's going to be in here. Acting so many people don't oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Matlab Kutbi series has become quite the regular feature on the channel. Interview snippets and statements from celebrities that has caused social media outrage or just a topic of discussion has also become a consistent feature on this channel. While I will still never stand for cancelling celebrities for their opinions, which in turn equates to wanting to strip them off of every job opportunity that exists, one can still discuss and debate about their statements and whether we agree or disagree with the same. In this video, we will be covering statements <laughs> by Indian celebrities that either completely Shame. enraged view or split audiences into agreeing or harshly disagreeing with their opinions. Without further ado, here is Tried and Refuse Productions with you know 10 who plays controversial the lady? celebrity interviews. Who's that that I, know that I, I know who she is, but I don't go is she in stuff In the that trailer I launch event of okay. an upcoming Tamil film partner starring Hansika Motwani, actor and comedian Robo Shankar took the mic to give a speech about his experience working on the film. The speech had quickly transitioned to speak about the physical features of Hansika Motwani on a public platform, without anyone interfering or voicing their disagreement as the actor continued making remarks that can be best described is lewd and inappropriate. Thankfully, after Robo Shankar left the launch event, a senior journalist did point out the absurdity of his statements and it being a disappointment that no one from the cast or production stopped him from saying such things about an actor on a public I'm platform. I'm confused. What's I even am too. More uncomfortable you have to is explain that. that. is not well versed with the language and smile throughout the speech. An absolutely vile act that was called out and justifiably so. In Maybe there's something in the language? Forums. Must be. <laughs> Sonali Kulkarni An actor that we see less of in the regular slate of movies and series is Sonali Kulkarni, an artist who really impresses with several of her fictional roles but as she sat in a seminar to speak about individualism and self-confidence in today's day and age, she gave a generalized statement about women in this country today. In उनको एक ऐसा बॉयफ्रेंड चाहिए या ऐसा पति चाहिए जिसके पास अच्छी नौकरी That's not good to say in 2023 जिसके पास घर हो जिसको अश्योरेंस हो कि उसको इंक्रीमेंट्स मिलने वाले हैं लेकिन उस लड़की में इतनी हिम्मत नहीं है कि वो कह पाए कि मैं क्या करूंगी while Sonali is entitled to her opinion, it's a take that I completely disagree with as it creates this notion that all women in the country are either conditioned or make the conscious choice of being incompetent to individually stand on their own two feet. 
one can have certain experiences of believing the she same some and it may be true for some people dependent on the personalities you're interacting with I'm more that, about the uh, every woman should find a husband or a boyfriend no she was saying some women like feel that way John oh she's Kapoor. saying for some women feel that yeah way. There's, there's, there are some women happening and Rohit Shetty raved about how humble Sara Ali Khan was to come to his office and beg for work this notion of being caste not for merit but because you asked for it and one considered it because of your family lineage rub people the wrong way because no one other than kids associated with film families have that privilege most people without connections will not have such a luxury and no one will give them the time of day and in a recent interview for Bawal Janvi spoke about how she stalked and begged for a role in this Nitesh Tiwari film so i became a stalker I'm surprised that Sajid sir doesn't have a restraining order on me because every morning I'd wake up and I'd send him messages and I'd call. It was bad. I just would want to tell most celebrities that these statements of bagging a film role by simply stalking producers never fly well publicly as it adds to the narrative. So people are just how upset because it is in an industry where nepotism have a clear upper hand over others. Salman I love that Khan. they want it that well, bad. The film fair press conference of Salman Khan was popular because he was roasting the award show and company while hosting it. He also made his thoughts on the digital boom very clear. He said that he is absolutely against profanity and vulgarity being dispersed in the name of content and asked for censorship to be implemented there as well. The Ram Gopal Verma. No, Salman. <laughs> do that kind of stuff on OTT and then after that people started watching and I just think that I don't believe in that kind of content. I mean since I mean, I've been here since 1989, and I have never done any of this kind of stuff. So okay. I just think that there should be a censor in OTT and all this, you know, hell no, nudity. I don't agree with the censor. You're allowed to have that opinion. Obviously, don't watch it. Most but don't tell others they can't. Yeah. Definitely don't agree with the censorship online aspect of it. Denying that there's a lot of crap in the space as well. The irony. You can have that opinion and that that OTT thought of not wanting to do that absolutely. content. Absolutely, more power to you. Abuse. But it was also quite gutsy of. Salman to name RGV as one I of the problems. I will never agree with censorship content, but I feel ever. Like that bhai is bhai, so he couldn't care less about what people think anyway. <laughs> Satish. At a public event for the upcoming Tamil film Oh My Ghost, actor and comedian Satish had taken the stage to speak about the film and those associated with it. While the star face that was publicized the most was Sunny Leone, she was alongside actor Darsha Gupta. In a rather odd and embarrassing and moment, Satish made sure to point out the way both actors were dressed, sadly resulting in the hooting and cheering of fans as the actor clearly wanted to make a point by doing the same. Publicly shaming Darsha for yeah, what she kind of wrote. Rude. Aimed at highlighting culture that's and kind of inclusion rude. as well as totally uncalled for. <laughs> was he shaming her because of the way she was dressed? That's what it sounded like at least. If he was, he's an asshole. Uh, yeah. Anytime uh -oh. an actor makes even a slightly politically charged comment, it's bound to ruffle feathers and cause outrage online. As Kajol was promoting her upcoming show, The Trial, she spoke about the importance of education in this country. She also highlighted how the problem also lies in the political system where many leaders who are ruling the citizens have no educational background. Leaders who do not have an educational system background. I'm sorry, but I'm going to go out and say that. <coughs> but, uh, it's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. You are being ruled by leaders, so many of them, who do not have that viewpoint. Which I think education does give you at least the chance to look out for a different viewpoint. This landed her in a lot of trouble, and mm. Kajol gave a statement clarifying. I, I don't think he's saying this is a bad statement. I think he's just pointing out anyone. interviews that so caused outrage. Yeah, but they're getting mad at her for saying that. But it's true. Makes everyone ready people on the internet, pitchforks. not him. He's just pointing no, out no, that no. people got the outrage. If there's Hukum. any film folklore, or I could be a fly in the wall to just see what transpired on the sets of a movie, it would be of Padmavat. Yeah. Movie and its making, which had so much drama, not only regarding the political pressure yeah, from the cast as well. and the attacks that followed, but amongst its own cast and tussling of egos that is only brushed upon publicly rather than actually I've heard anyone fleshing it out heard about on this? what exactly happened. In a recent interview of Shahid Kapoor, which I would highly recommend to all of you on Midday with Mayank, he speaks about often times during the making regretting saying yes to the film. There could literally be a documentary on the making of Padmavat and what went down. I would be the first one ready with my popcorn. I did feel at times I was like, why did I make do this film? Like, 
I felt like that, yes. But I don't want to blame anybody. Sure. You know, maybe I didn't have perspective at that time. But at mm. that point of time, I did feel like that. Rajiv mm. Masan, as I was I'll listening to, to the that, podcast yeah. all about movies hosted by Anupama Chopra, a statement by Rajiv Masan, the former critic and now working with Dharma Productions, slightly oh. perturbed me. His very really popular roundtable series had an infamous event when Sidhan Chaturvedi, with a brief but accurate statement, summarized the difference between outsiders and those associated with film families, which Rajiv said was unfair. Sidhan clapped back at her and that became a thing. And, and, and that, became that became the became, biggest thing. Yeah. And you know, it was, I really genuinely felt that was unfair because you can't attack people for their opinions. Right. It's their, it's their, you may not, you may not agree with it, but, but to, I, I felt that was completely unfair. And, and, and now we work with Ananya. This was something that alarmed me as a person who created a career forming his opinion on a public platform, oftentimes making personal remarks as well, was now seeing it's unfair to simply state one's opinion. With all due respect to Rajiv, this seemed like a tonal shift that is a result of being on the other side of the film industry and nothing else. Say he works with Dharma. In probably the most infamous event that married both the digital and mainstream worlds, the AIB roast caused massive waves, both from a novelty standpoint and the list of fires that, that followed. While a lot of people understood the format and intention of the show, many felt it was disrespectful towards several communities that were targeted in the gags. Amir Khan had That's expressed the... his take regarding yeah. the event. Amir Khan did not like it. It did not go down well with people who are well versed with the roast that have happened for decades. When you so you violence perpetrate violence. You are doing a very violent thing and you are showing the world how violent I am. Can't agree with you there, Amir. Sorry. Not at all. While Amir did give off boomer energy, many people in this country did stand with his annoyance with the show. That's the point of a roast. Yeah. Arjun Kapoor. Don Rickles never made anybody get violent. The to just safeguard the feelings of the actor involved was when Arjun Kapoor stated that the criticism or trolling of his film Pani Pat was a direct correlation to making fun of the historical figure he is portraying on the big screen. In that imagery, when you crack jokes, on Arjun Kapoor, what happens is somewhere you're also discrediting the character I'm playing. This notion that anything critical of his ability as an actor is also disrespectful to the revered figure he is portraying. Hmm. This is the same tactic that was being attempted by the makers of Adi Purush, where criticism of again, any kind of... Once again, I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> ...is under the guise of anything that is revered or sacred. A sorry defense to protect one's own incompetence. And that was a video, guys. Write down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jam Pants for also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching. That's interesting. Uh, there's a lot yeah, of statements no, if, in there that I. Uh, if an actor portrays a real person and their performance is terrible, it has nothing to do. With it has real nothing life. to do with the real person. Yeah. I and have. to say don't criticize my portrayal because then you criticize the person is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, and there was a lot in here that I think was probably more contextual yeah uh, and also I, I don't think he was saying that he thinks all these things are wrong or bad that's i think he's just saying these are things that cause people to have outrage online and yeah but he did express about, his own opinion about yes him. he did yeah, yeah. uh I, I definitely don't agree with the salman khan uh not, statement. not at all in fact i, will, I am and i am passionately yes. in the opposite opinion i i 100 believe he's allowed to make whatever films he wants if he doesn't Absolutely. like that style of vulgarity or violence and say that you dislike it you wish it wasn't made he's like i i, I don't like that but don't, don't force make it. that belief That's on others totally fine censorship is forcing your opinion on somebody else correct which i will never ever agree and with. just and one of my favorite quotes of all time in this this subject matter is from ricky gervais just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right exactly uh, a, a great example right now going on in america jason aldean yeah so jason aldean has this song called try that in a small town country music television Banned his video. I've seen the video. I've heard the song. I don't like the song. I don't like the message. Yeah. So I don't watch it. Yeah. Don't ban his damn video. Yeah. Let him say whatever the hell he wants to say. Yes, it has a line in there about see how far you get down the road. And there's a wink, wink, nudge, nudge that could potentially be referring to lynching. Yeah. He's not condoning lynching. He's talking about stuff in a small town. And while I completely disagree with the message entirely, yeah. he's got the right to say it. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> I think. Nazis 
should be allowed to make their own films and people decide to boycott those things and yeah, like, not like them because, you know, they're racist. There's so many people. But uh, I believe they should be allowed to make them because th- it's a, well, America yeah, is a free country. So We've lost the capacity to have civil discourse when we disagree with each other. And that's really the bedrock of a, de- of a democratic location yeah. is that you have diverse people with different opinions and different feelings who disagree with each other but agree to disagree. I mean, what are we going to do? Just shut down everybody that doesn't think like we do? Um, That's called fascism. It's also a similar statement that Amir Khan made that he he didn't like the 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 roast. Totally he, respect his. He can have that opinion. You're allowed to not like crude jokes. Yes, and others. and say I dislike shows like that because I think they're demeaning. A hundred percent. That's totally fine. You're allowed to have that opinion. But also, one, I don't agree that they cause violence. Correct. I, I, I hold people's blame on themselves. Correct. Uh, not on content. I will I've, I, ha- I can't tell you how many times I have watched guns being used in a movie or a TV show. I've never shot a human being. Yeah. Um, Played games with guns. Yeah. It's 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 granted there is a level of responsibility. It's always about intention. It's always about intention. And the intention of a roast is laugh. not to insult people. The intention of a roast is to make people laugh and to be humble and to not take yourself so seriously. Yep. That's that's the point of them. And yeah. so yeah, they are offensive because they're supposed to be. Yeah, the uh, point is the, <laughs> the insult isn't the point. Um so yeah, I, I, and then there was some in there that obviously I'd probably need more context about what the, what they sure. were. Sure. Oh, so were what what went on with cuz with Shahid? I I don't know all the details, but I just know they one he was not happy with his role in it because he he didn't feel like his character was getting fleshed out like it should have like he was promised, I think. Uh, as opposed to, like, how Ranveer's was fleshed out more. They, he, he thought his character was going to be a lot more fleshed out. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of, like, some people said, he, I don't you know these specifically, that he was jealous of the love that was Ranveer was getting. I can't tell so you. So it that wasn't, for thing. example, Christian Bale has talked about how he felt completely overshadowed by Ledger in Dark Knight, but in the best of ways, that he came in with his approach to Batman and saw what Ledger did with Joker and said yeah. to himself, holy crap crap i'm so far behind this guy yeah. it wasn't that no uh and I, I i i think the 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 jealousy thing is more fans playing on each other of renvia fans shahid fans and that kind of stuff i think it's more of he didn't there was just a lot of drama well, in terms of like he didn't feel like his the role he was promised i feel like and you guys tell me if this is right or wrong uh was was what, what was actually kind of, trans, yeah, transpired like, he thought it was going to be a lot more his character being fleshed out and, and, and so he agreed to it before script, I guess. I don't know. Cause that, that happens a lot. Sounds a little bit solid. So I, you know, I wouldn't, and, right? and that happens very frequently and it's, there's nothing wrong with it. There are, there are times for whatever reason, somebody does a film that did really, really well, but you find out that it was a very bad experience for the actor for whatever, yeah, whatever sure. reason. So. And there was obviously a ton of stuff going on with Bad Mavad. <laughs> oh, my stars. Yeah. 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 Uh, so who knows with everybody exactly what, what exactly. What we'll I mean. ask him when we get yeah, to talk yeah, to him. Exactly. And I'm sure um, he'll be, He'll tell us everything. <laughs> All the juicy details. Probably. Um, anyways, but yeah, uh, let us know uh, any other information about all these that we need to know and any other videos from him that we can react to. I can't wait to see some of the comments on this one. <laughs> There's going to be some angry people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, and you're allowed to voice your opinion because that's yep. what opinions are for. Go right ahead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cajol's thing, we just, which we didn't talk about. I, I, I don't know why people would be mad at that, you know, because it's like, it is true, and then it's not just of India. All over the world, that just aren't educated people yeah, that yeah. are leading. And it's funny. I can already, I can already see people saying, George "Yeah, w. Bush. you guys say you're not against censorship, but you block people you don't agree with." No. Uh, for example, on my Instagram, I block people who are insulting and threatening and rude, and that's not public consumption. That's my personal space. Yeah. It's like I allow things that happen in the world because we're a community. But in my house, there's certain things that are not permissible. Yeah. So, uh, gover- government censorship and people not wanting to be yelled at and uh, cursed out at yeah. and threatened. Or criticized are, over things that are, for example, the, the, Kajol saying that there were people in leadership and government who don't have education. Why is that insulting to people? She was just stating, I, she's basically saying, it would make sense to me. I wish that more people in leadership would have a broader education than they currently do. Yeah. Why would people be upset? With because they that. probably know the per- person they support isn't 
educated, and then she thinks of talking about that person. So no, do yeah. a Shaquille O'Neal and go continue your education if that's <laughs> exactly the case. Because uh, edu- being educated is is truly a it's, it's a it's a benefit. It does make you broader minded and it's true. more open to possibilities. And uh, so I don't. Yeah, it doesn't mean education makes you smarter than others or a better person. No, N- not by any stretch. No. Um, but anyways, obviously, let us know what you thought about all these yeah. and any other and videos. Why you're mad at us? Yeah, re- <laughs> any videos we can react to down below. Josh. <laughs>